my early predictions to the 22-23 Premier League season. At 20th I have Nottingham Forest who although have invested sizably I still don't think they have the ability to control games in the centre of the pitch or the attack to score enough goals to stay in the division. In the bottom three at 19th is Bournemouth who will suffer a similar fate to the one Parker faced at Fulham in the Premier League a year back, good football but struggling for goals. In 18th will be Brentford who were on the fall before the arrival of Ericsson and with second season syndrome kicking in they will struggle to stay in the league this season narrowly avoiding the drop this season will be Southampton who are always so inconsistent but a good mid-season run will see them scrape over the line. 16th place is the final promoted team in Fulham who although will take a few batterings have the firepower up top to see them get enough points to stay up at 15th and a drop off last season will be Crystal Palace who will continue to play good football but will fall short and lacking of a few ideas across the season resulting in a less impressive campaign. 14th will be Leeds and I really like Jesse Marsh and his positive proactive style of football along with players he is very familiar with as he signed many former players will result in a strong year. At 13th will be Brighton who will suffer from a few losses over the summer like Bissouma but will still do well this season. 12th I have Everton down who will improve under Lampard but still underperform for where the owners want the club to be at. Next up 11th will be Wolves who struggled in the latter end of the season and the lack of a true goal scorer could cost them again. At the centre of the table will be Aston Villa will Gerard moving the club up gradually after some smart deals in the transfer window 9th will be Leicester who are struggling now under Rodgers and I wouldn't be surprised if he departs this season but ultimately they will still finish top half. 8th will be the richest club in the world Newcastle who will come along massively under Eddie Howe but will narrowly miss out on those European spots. At 7th will be West Ham again who will enjoy another solid year under David Moyes and look good at Champions League for moments in the season. In 6th will be Mikel Arteta's men who will fall a position after last year despite investments. They still lack that experience and quality in the centre of the pitch to see them seriously challenge for the top spots narrowly missing out the Champions League spots will be Manchester United who are under new stewardship and although they will improve next season it will still be a transitional year for Eric Ten Hag. Fourth will be Chelsea who will also be adapting now under new ownership and will hit a few bumpy patches this season but still secure European football. At third will be Tottenham with Conte bringing a marked improvement and consistency but they still lack the squad to challenge the top two. Missing out on the title will be Liverpool who won't perform as well this season but will still be comfortably class albeit with a few more losses. Taking the top spot will be Manchester City who after signing Holland will kick on even more still. I expect them to pick up less points than last year with a more demanding league once again but still clinch the top spot. And that's my early 22-23 Premier League predictions. Where have I gone wrong? Put it into the comment section down below and while you're there like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.